Fire season hasn't made big headlines in Oregon yet, but that can change in a flash. And the Oregon Department of Forestry says that they have more tools at the ready, but more challenges too. Fire season in Oregon is actually off to a busy start in terms of the number of fires battled so far. 345 on Oregon Department of Forestry land alone, well over the 10 year average. But acreage burned is way down, due in part to quick response. Just this weekend, a nearly 400 acre blaze ignited near Lapine. Luckily, firefighters there got a quick jump on it. Despite the wet late spring, much of the region is in a prolonged rainfall deficit, leading to drought conditions across much of the state. And now it's warming up. The brush and the grass and the weeds and even to the trees, it's going to dry all that out. And so any, any stray ember from a human caused fire of whatever kind can easily catch fire and quickly spread through that vegetation. ODF hopes that more tools will help them keep the upper hand. They've added 10 new smoke detection cameras in fire prone areas and seen here video where they're in advanced testing for nighttime single engine air tanker operations. That's SEAT for short, which means they're close to being able to do airdrops at night as pilots will be outfitted with night vision goggles. This is a first for ODF. They'll need that extra help because fire crews will also be trying to protect themselves from COVID-19, following a long list of safety protocols, including more sanitation, more PPE, and social distancing. So a fire crew, maybe a 10 person crew, they work as a unit and they don't mix with other units at that fire camp the way they might normally. So rather than everyone getting together for dinner or meals, they might simply pick up a box lunch and take that back and eat that separately on their, in their own area. As we warm up and dry out, remember to be extremely careful with anything that can throw a spark. I'm Chris McGinnis for KGW News.